Okay, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a while. This is a little different. Um, hopefully you liked my... I don't want to use the word rendition, but I guess I hope you liked my first ever Vlogmas. In this one, I wanted to do something different. This is like my first ever sit-down video since I've done Vlogmas. And this is about my college, university, like, experience. I don't know what the title is. It's probably going to be something like clickbaity but hopefully you guys will watch through this i'm gonna go through freshman year all the way till this past november which is when i graduated from this school that i'm wearing my t-shirt from um fun fact i went to four different universities so i'm gonna be talking about everything no shame all love let's go Okay, so we're going to start off by senior year. And a little background, I knew I wanted to go to school, like to college, um, I think junior year, in California, specifically Los Angeles. I wanted, and if you watch my other vlogs, I've probably mentioned it, or if you're my friend, you know I don't shut the fuck up about LA. <laughs> it's like literally my favorite city in the world, so I always find a way to bring it up because I, I love LA. I haven't lived there, I've only visited twice, but the vibe that I've gotten. Anyway, so junior year is when like the pivotal moment of my life came and I was like set on <sighs> the first half of my junior year was set on majoring in theater um, and acting, which is why I wanted to go to schools in California because it was just, it made more sense, like the industries over there. Um, and then the other half I was like, kind of got discouraged from acting like pursuing that as a major in school um and I was like you know what I'm by this I kind of discouraged majoring as that so then I was like okay what's something that I love and I love obviously being on camera it was and I love pop culture and I loved I loved watching people act but I also loved movies and talking about movies and talking about celebrities and like One Direction and all those things and like I, since the age of 12, have watched E! News and I was like, you can actually get a job doing this. Like, I want to do that. So I, like, looked up Jason Kennedy and Kat Sadler and I, like, what did they major in? And I saw that they majored in journalism. So I was like, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do broadcast journalism. So then junior year, I was like, set, okay, journalism. And I knew that all the entertainment stuff was in L.A. because L.A., Hollywood, all that. So I knew... I had to go to LA. Like another school that I fell in, oh, this is so embarrassing. Another school that I fell in love with my junior year was Loyola University at Chicago. I visited my junior year towards like March, I think. I forgot when. I will post pictures of me. I'm going and I fell in love with like the campus I fell in love with the idea of this school and like where it was because like it's by the beach or the lake or whatever so it's like you're walking and you hear like the waves and like it's and I applied to everyone the close contender was the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign my biggest regret in life aside from not pursuing acting is going to Loyola and not attending the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. That is my biggest regret. I flew, flew in Anesia, to be honest with you, and I disappointed all my counselors. Orientation. I meet some of like the greatest people I have ever met in my, is that a word? I've ever, yeah, I've ever met in my life um, during orientation, and I will say some of them I'm still friends with till this day. Um, but I went and I was really excited over the summer just to go I like looked up at the clubs I wanted to join like it was something that I was genuinely excited and then I get there and I hated it I genuinely hated it like it's just it was one I went to a predominantly like minority high school so there was a lot of like black and like Latino students and like Asian students so it was like more minority based and then I go to an all white school and I just felt very out of place and then not only was it a majority white school but it just like they were rich <laughs> like they had fucking money and coming from a like at the time like 
I guess a middle class working income, it felt, I felt very out of place. Like I didn't feel like I belonged there. I was also going through like an identity crisis. I was during that stage when like, I, com I mean, I still compare myself, but like I was more like I believed more of like other people's opinions, if that makes sense, or I constantly judged myself. So I saw these like pretty skinny white girls and then there was like the short, kind of very chubby brown skin girl and it made me more insecure than I should have been but that was something that I was like dealing with like I wouldn't say I felt homesick I think I felt homesick because I didn't like where I was at I feel like if I went to U of I with my friends with people who I could center myself around with more I knew I wouldn't be as homesick um, but because I was in an all-white majority school, it was really hard for me. And I'm someone who makes friends very easily. That is something I love about myself. I love making friends. It was so fucking hard. <laughs> Aside from the four friends that I had um, and that I had met, I just, like, it was so hard. Like, I felt like I didn't belong there. And, like, I've honestly, I've gotten stares. Like, I felt like I had gotten, like, so many stares from, like, these white kids like it was like their first time seeing like a brown skin girl or like a Mexican skin like a Mexican skin a Mexican girl like it was like their first time meeting one and it felt like I felt like very like judged like it was also during I started freshman year the fall of 2016 and if you don't remember that time it was an election so imagine going to an all-white majority school and then seeing after um, Trump won all these met like Republican and like make America great again hats and like the Trump slogan and all these things and I was like this is so like I felt like like Black Mirror I'm like where the fuck am I like this is like I felt so much more uncomfortable I hated it um all yeah I hated it <laughs> I will say like I don't remember, like, I feel like th they were just racist. I'm going to put it out there because I spent, like, six minutes just talking about in circles. I felt like the school was racist. Um, all the professors I felt that I had were all white. I never really saw a person of color professor there. That's just my experience. I hated it. Um, the one professor who I felt was, like, more open-minded was my comm professor, and that was it. The rest, my English class... I swear I should have gotten a fucking A and I kept getting C's and I know for a fact that my greatest strong suit is writing and I had all those articles like checked and stuff like that so for me to have gotten a C in that class big fuck you because no okay sorry I felt like my professors most of them were racist one because they just like give you that vibe but also like they were also part of the problem and like staring like, it was, like, the first time they saw a person of color. Like, I feel like Loyola should have done better because, no. That was just not great. Um, aside from that, I had, like, m my friends are mostly, like, minorities or, like, people of color. And that made me feel more comfortable being at that school. But I fucking hated it. I hated Loyola. I honestly got PTSD from that school because I have never felt more uncomfortable in my life as a person of color. And I hate that school. Never going back. I mean, never say never. I will say one time I did, like, the Ro Ra Ro Loyola Ramble sports thing, and I was, like, behind the scenes, and, like, the professor who ran that, sweetest man alive. I don't know, forgot his name. I never got his name, or if I did, I forgot about it. But he was, like, so great. He saw me, and he made me feel like I could be on TV, if that made sense, because I had never seen someone who looked like me on television as much um but he like made me feel like i belonged i don't know what his name was but he was so great he was the sweetest i love him um otherwise than that i just had a hard time making friends like i didn't know how to be alone for the first time and because i hated that school i went home every weekend mind you we were like almost the last stop on the red line and i am the last stop on the orange line midway so I measured it. It takes two hours from the train to get there. I took two hours to drive all the way over there. That's how much I hated Loyola. I went home every weekend during the week when I would have classes in the downtown, you know, campus. I just went home. I hated it. And so I was never there with my roommates, and I know they wanted someone who was constantly there. 
I just wasn't happy. I hated it. I was really more naive and like more... I'm still soft-spoken, but I wouldn't have said all this. Um, but because I hated it, and I met... Um, the following year, I met a girl who also went to Loyola, and she had the same experience. Like, it was just fucking horrible. And then we're like, can we, can I just live at home? I didn't mind living at home and doing that. And they were like, no. Because if you live at home, you're going to lose your scholarship. So I was like, okay, I'll just stay at home. But then they didn't want to, like, give more financial aid. And we tell them, like, we can't do it. But they also didn't want me to, like, not go there. Because obviously they wanted the money. Um, so I was like, fine. So by December... No, by November, actually, I reached out to my uh, college advisor from high school, and I was like, I don't want to go to Loyola anymore. I want to transfer. Um, and obviously, you could go to U of I, but my, you could transfer the spring quarter or semester at U of I. Obviously, um, my grades were shit. I still don't think I deserved that D and that C. Um, I think I deserved a higher grade. But... You know, I can't, it's been years and I can't fight that fight that anymore. But um, he was like, let's just go to Harold, Washington. So, so bad going to, um, like, going to the school and, like, wasting all this money, wasting my time when I could have gone to U of I. I felt really shitty. And that's something that I had to forgive myself because I go over these scenarios of, like, how much it would have happened if I just gone to U of I. Um, but you can't, you can't go in the past. So, anyways, we met up, and he helped me apply to Harold. Obviously, I got in. It's a city college school. It's a community college, and I got in. So, that was really great. Um, now I had to, like, withdraw from Loyola. All this, mind you, I never told my mom. So, I never, ever told her that I was gonna, like, this essentially, like, drop out of Loyola. Um, I did that all on my own. I was so scared <laughs> to tell her that I didn't tell her until, like, I told her, like, I have to move out after finals. Like, I can't, you know, obviously came back here. But I didn't tell her. So I went, I did, like, the exit interview survey. Um, I told him, like, when I had to move out. Uh, I told my RA, because I had to get my RA involved for some reason. I forgot why. Um, and happy. I was very, I felt very alone. And even though I had friends... Um, who did include me and stuff. I just I couldn't be there anymore. I just didn't like it um, So we did the exit survey and then I took finals and then the week But when we were getting our study guides before finals week, I like called my mom on break and I was like I have to tell you something This is my phone. I was like I Have to tell you something and she was like what and I'm like I'm not returning back Next semester and she was like what and I was like she wasn't mad, but I was like I decided that I don't like this school. I, uh, you have to pick me up from my dorm right after finals to like, uh, cause they give you a time to move out, and I got that time. And I was like, I hate it. I, I mean, my roommates were angels. I loved my roommates. My roommates were great. They weren't the reason. I just the school itself just sucked. Um, yeah. Um, can you? you have to pick me up with all my stuff like I have to move out I told her like I lo thought long and hard like I already applied to Harold Washington by then I had gotten into Harold so that was in December um so I had like my orientation date and stuff like that already set it kind of let out this like like a relief and I was like and I told her like are you mad at me I thought she was just gonna go off and I was like are you mad at me she was like no um I couldn't pay for it anymore like I wouldn't know what we would have done for this and I didn't she didn't have any more money mind you I started paying tuition from June so June of 2016 July August September October November December we had to pay two grand and my mom just couldn't do it and I didn't like the school so there was no point in paying for that much so she was like yeah I, I wouldn't know how to pay anymore if you didn't like leave so either way it would have come down to me not returning back for the spring semester um, so that was it. I, like, moved out, um, and then I was done, and then I, I cried because I, like, sentimental, like, seeing my roommates, like, they were great, and they made me, the like, kind of, like, a fam family, like, a little family, so I did, like, miss them, and I cried, I cried because of them, and then I cried because I wasted all that money, and I wasted my time so much for watching for don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel 
follow me on the gram and more fun i promise you that or literally just on tiktok crybaby libra 97 instagram is melissa.1997 um i also think i have like a new blog it's called miss 20 something i'm trying to log back into my old blogger account but i can't so yeah anyways thanks so much for watching this video and i'll see you in another sit down video